5.08 p.m. All right, please join me in the flag of the fleet. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. All right. So, first on our agenda, this is a, um, a new term or a new year for us for the uh, select board. Um, to uh, reorganize. So with that said, I'll uh, take a nomination for chair. Are we good? Right now. Lynn, can you hear me? Okay. All right. Is there any more echo? No. Do you hear an echo? Yeah, there definitely is an echo. Yeah, there's still an echo. We're trying to find again. How about now? I can't understand anybody. Well, that's not good. How about me, Lynn? Should we to understand me? I can understand you. How about me? I can get you now. Jen, speak. If I can't hear you, can hear me. You come in and out. I don't understand this building. Well, it's not designed. These meetings are designed to have the same people in the same room on the same night for you. That's why I'm using a headset. Well, so is Jen. Wow. We should have a headset for everybody. I can talk really long. Yeah, but if you had a headset with the microphone, then you wouldn't have to worry about it. All right. Sorry, good. Well, back when I was. No. Time to reorganize. I will we'll accept nomination for sure. Um, I will nominate one okay. I'll nominate myself. I'm running now to a nomination for Glenn Sexton for the chair. We have a nomination for Jay Joyce for chair. I'll second Jen's nomination for Glenn Sexton for chair. We actually call a vote on that. We have to go to the second right. So at this time, we'll call a vote. Let's see further discussion in regards to. Um, Glenn Sexton being considered for chair. Any further discussion this time? Not hearing any. All in favor of Glenn Sexton being chair of the select board? Aye. Aye. Jay? How does it sting? Sting? No, sting. Okay. This time I'll take nomination for clerk for the select board. I will nominate um, Jen Silva uh, for clerk at this time. I'll second that. 
Second by Jay. Is there any further discussion at this time? Not hearing anybody, we'll call for a vote. Aye. 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 Three ayes. Okay. We're all set at this time, we can move forward. Um, We can do that. Want to do that first? Yeah. Okay. I'll look at that. Approved assignment. We have uh, five main cards, five more. The first one is warrant number 77. We have warrant number 78, which is a payroll warrant, last payroll for a company, in the amount of 589,000, 34.9. We have warrant number 79, which is the remaining warrant for 200, that was a all our insurance premium and uh, retirement contributions uh, in house. We have warrant number 81 in the amount of $78,407.37. That is the account payable part. And we have warrant number one in the fiscal year 21 in the amount of one million six seventy two one eight point six. Now, what is paying our uh, retirement board contribution and uh, insurance is working without insurance? Uh, I think it's all liability, property, all the big ones. That's a big deal. Yep. Okay. Oh, what's the one? The general fund is consolidated. That's another account. Okay. That's for fiscal year. Okay. I will move to approve fiscal year 2020 warrants number 77, 78, 79, and 81, and fiscal year 2021 warrants number one to approve. Is there a second for the motion? To be honest with you, I just got all the documentation 30 minutes ago and I haven't read it. So I'm going to abstain from everything because I haven't read anything. Yeah, <laughs> I'll second uh, Jen's motion at this time. Is there any further discussion at this time? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, before we go into item number three, they have the same thing. Everybody's coming in broken. Yeah, well, everything. Okay, I just need to connect now. Yes, then approve. Do approve one of the things. Uh, before we move into the draft, we need one. I'd like to do two more appointments at the July one. The first one would be uh, John Mitchell as fire chief with period 7 1 20 to June 30 2021. And to Dominic Fitz Martin as the ambulance director with period July 1 2020 to June 30 2021. Is that a Chris Martin as the ambulance director for the period July 1, 2020 to June 30, 2021. Good. 
Chris, is there is there a is it goes along with the the fire chief pay is sixty-five thousand dollars a year? And Jim's work pay is uh the However, we need a thank you and that we have to use it. And just to let you know, I can't hear anything that you're saying. You can't hear anything that you're saying? Well, I don't know. It was last week, it, or our last meeting, everything was going well. Lynn, can you hear them? Can you hear me? Well, why? What's Kevin, can you hear anything? I can hear Jay. Right, there's a there's a whistling in the background. Yeah. That's the air conditioning. <laughs> it's like a turbo engine. And I think the only reason you guys can hear me is I'm wearing a headset. None of the noises around me go out. Well, it's the last meeting. Everything worked. There's no feedback. Here, feedback again. There's definite feedback from you, Glenn. feedback Took it off the mute on myself on mute to see if it was me. You know, yeah. Like and the feedback right now. I got you with just a little echo. Okay. Now, there's a, there's a feedback there. Can you hear that? I can hear it when you talk. 
Saying I can't get ready here now. Okay, uh, you need to make two appointments. First one will be the fire chief, which will be John Mitchell, for the period of 7 1 2020 through June 30, 2021, with a compensation of $65,000. And the second one is the Chris Martin as the ambulance director for the period. 7 1 2020 to June 30th, 2020. Normal stipend will be $25,000. However, I am asking that no compensation be extended. Okay. Very well. I will move to appoint John Mitchell as my chief for the period of July 1st. Myself and Mr. Mitchell. Yeah. I'll stop there. Uh, two in favor, one of the same uh, for John Mitchell as fire chief, and also for Chris Martin as ambulance director. You know, free, uh, Okay, I recuse myself from the chair. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll stop there. 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 Okay, I'll I'd like to reset the meeting. I'm going to get to the correct copy. Okay. I'd like to reset the meeting. So this time we'll be taking a uh, recess for a brief recess. Uh, do you have a motion? I will make a motion to recess for a matter of time. 
I will second that motion. Any further discussion at this time? All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. 
activities that if someone starts to be on heat, they are there until either they die, reach age 65, or prematurely. We have no way of getting rid of them or unappointed as a fire or species if they're appointed as a fire species. Okay. Good. Article six is uh, to appropriate thousand dollars to finish the tree removal project that was started last spring. Article seven is to uh, appropriate one thousand dollars to uh, on highway operations. I put this in as a placeholder because we don't know if the chapter 9 chapter is going to be signed by the government. But I get this in the time. And I just don't think that the government will be somehow rolling in before this chapter 9 chapter is going to be signed. Our RPH is if you appropriate $33,000 for the police department. Our nine appropriate thirty seven eight hundred dollars for the tuition of each new Smith Hope. Our ten is to appropriate one thousand three hundred forty five dollars to purchase the March cruiser. Yes. Uh, why are they at Smith? Because they're at that point or Smith because that point are getting off and Oh, there's two. There's two. Uh, that's the criminal justice that uh pathfinder doesn't have with one one was in funding one was in uh, criminal justice the only pathfinder just started up funding this year or last year right. they're allowed to stay there and force to go back i, I thought there was one that and right. just just like mr martin just said pathfinder now has plumbing uh so anybody that wants plumbing will go there from now on right chris yeah okay uh as a engine interest, Holyoke as criminal justice. That should be student of choice. We shouldn't have to pay. That should be addressed to the school department. We did. And they said uh, the parents wanted to go, wanted to go to Holyoke. That's an argument. Just like them, the bank. Just that's a political argument. That I'm just bringing you up today. Outside the purview of the corporation. Uh, article 11 is for 220,000, borrow 220,000 for a dump truck for the department. Article 12 is to borrow 150,000 for a new mower for the buildings department. That's a large mower for the Ukraine fire for Brown Elms. Why did you talk to Yes, anyway. Uh, article 13. Fifty-two thousand to buy transit for public buildings. Basically, that would be a covered cargo thing. You currently don't have a covered vehicle or move equipment from one site to another, so you have to make sure that it's not raining. And you can site to site. Article fourteen is eighteen. No, it should actually actually that should be fourteen thousand eight hundred dollars to fund construction at the new library. And that would be to uh, do some construction in order to. Uh, Convert the old library into an office space and to bring electricity out to the building if we are allowed to uh, move the records out to the maintenance market. Article 15 is $5,000 for the purpose of not buying our values in the CEO control district. That is asked by the Board of Health. Right. I know Jay brought some quotes and stuff, and that can be our value as well. Well, also the Board of Health stated they would give us some documentation. And when they came in for the article, and they still haven't given us the documentation. Well, okay. okay. Actually, I'll do that tomorrow. I'll do that tomorrow. Okay. Uh, article 16 is uh, $470,491 for the our number 17 is 238,827. There's a sewage process that's a two year 2021. Article 18 is 386,878 to operate the bank department. Article 19 is the annual town budget. 
Article 20 is to uh, transfer from the capital utilization fund $99,200. And that is for the cost of the associated with the capital project that you approved by the capital improvement committee. Article 21 is to transfer $13,306.98 bond premium uh, to the applied account. And then it's uh, currently scheduled that we have to uh, appropriate the term on each year. So by the time the bond is going to be paid off, there will be no bond for you as well. Article 22 is to transfer from that $1,800,000 uh, that's funding for this is tax loan. The reason we're we that much is the fact that uh, we are protecting the point of that reduction in the state aid as part of our 2021 budget. And I have also reduced uh, what we're seeking to the amount of about $100,000. Not knowing how we're going to do it. And our number one is to allow our assessment to do additional Can we really vote on all these, even though the finance committee hasn't approved them all yet? We will be having another meeting because I want to talk about the budget. We will be having another meeting because I want to be able to talk about the budget. And the finance committee has approved the budget to revise them. And I want to go to see what was proposed by the because when I watched the finance committee, there was a number of articles they would not approve. And I've already talked to them. There's some additional documentation and more. There's been some additional uh, documentation on the need for the, uh, the container. So I'm just going to turn the link into the uh, maintenance shop. Yep. And I did get them the information on the transit. And these are the articles. There was another one Jabalette wanted to know about uh, um, taking the police vehicles and giving them to other departments. And I, I, I explained that to them because the green community. I can't do that. Yeah. Yes, I, I do explain. Well, we are. Yeah. We are. Yeah. We are. Yeah. We are. Yeah. All right. So, what I'm going to do is try and see another meeting of this board. So that we can discuss the budget, sign the work, and get it closed before the May 27th, 2021. And then we'll have July 25th, June 6th, July 25th, annual completion schedule for the parking lot in East Middle at 9 a.m. It's going to be outside. Do we have a pick a rain date yet? No. I'll be up on the mobile. There's windstorm. You see it. She can't hear. It, it, I, I can tell you when I put these down, I can't hear you. So I, I don't know if she can. Lynn, they wanted to talk to you about the um, annual town meeting between the two schools uh, being outside. Uh, Question came up. Is there a rain date picked yet? That would be up to you guys, but I would advise Monday night being the rain date so you keep it in July so you don't have to do the 112th budget for August. I agree with you on that. Did everybody hear Lynn? Did everybody hear Lynn? No, uh, no, the 27th, I believe. The board yeah. on, on this morning. Bring me Monday, July 27th at 7 p.m. 6 p.m. Because if we don't do it then, now you're going to go into August if you run another Saturday and then you got to do another 112 budget. No, I, I, I heard what Len said. I agree with that. Yeah, I didn't know if you heard what she said. Lynn, can you hear so, me? Yeah. So it's going to be outside on a Saturday. Not you haven't. Uh, did you decide on that for certain? Well, I think or, I, I know we discussed it before. A big thing was to have it outside with space on 
people are being more comfortable, I think, being outside than being inside together, in a larger group of people. That's kind of what I was gathering from that. You know, there's been some discussion going back and forth, why not have it inside in the gym? But again, I think some of the people that I was, that I heard from was that it could be outside, it could be a little more comfortable being outside than being inside with people. Based upon the governor's three phase requirements, uh, no more than 25 individuals in an enclosed space and eight individuals every thousand square feet. I don't think we can have it inside. We're in phase three, which started today. Those are his requirements. We have enough that, town meeting. Okay, then I would just say if we're going to do something different, then the board of health. That's just that's where I am with it. Just as far as comfort and we do it correctly, I think we do it. I, I think so. A lot of people have heard already in town that it's going to be outside. I think I've heard, I've heard some feedback from some people that they don't have inside, but also more people hear it from being outside. Because it's outside, if you're a little couple feet outside around people. Okay. I mean, it's 50 50, I guess, sometimes. So, what day is available for the board later this week or the next week? Or another board meeting? Let's do it next Monday, or do you want to? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Why do it? You guys are available for another one. Four. Make sure I'm here for four. It is, but I need you want to be out here. I don't know what I'm meeting. I'll be here for four. I'll make it until four o'clock. Okay. You want to adjourn quickly? Anything else? This time, I got another. I everybody's breaking up with the feedback. You look, I can't say anything. Oh, yes, all right. So I'll, I'll extend the motion this time to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. I'll second the motion. Any further discussion? Aye. All in favor? Aye. Aye.